Hello YouTube, this is VMonkeyFX with my first ever After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic teleportation effect in Adobe After Effects CS3 through CS5.5. First off, you're going to import your footage. I already have imported mine. And so, to start off, you are going to go to Layer, New, Solid. Make sure that this is a black solid. And I'll show you why in a second. Click OK. Go to your effects and presets panel. And type in lens flare. Drag your lens flare onto the black solid. And now you've got a nice little lens flare. Let's change the flare brightness to about 150 and change the lens type to 105 millimeter prime. Now I'll switch the transfer mode to add. And here's why I made you have it a black solid. Because if it were a white solid, the lens wouldn't show up and the entire screen would be white. So Drag your lens flare to where you want the teleportation to be. And I'm going to say about there is pretty good. And now we have to keyframe it. So select the flare brightness, hit the stopwatch, go about a half a second into your footage, and then set the flare brightness to zero. And so now we've got a nice little flare fading out. So now, go into Layer, New, Solid, another solid, and let's make this one a white solid. And then let's make a sort of speech bubble thingy. It's a spiky speech bubble, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. Alright, and there we have a little spiky whatever it is. And then go into your effects and presets panel and type in if you have trap code shine. If you don't have trap code shine, then um, I'll probably post another tutorial later of a substitute for trap code shine, but so far I don't have one. So, sorry guys. So type in shine, and here we have trap code shine. Now apply it to your little layer that you have here. And I'm going to name the solid Rays. And before we get a whole lot further, I've experienced this problem in the past. Go to your masks and then click F to feather the mask. And that just looks a lot better to me. I don't know about you, but... Then switch the transfer mode to add. Then if you want to, you can raise the ray length. To get the sort of reddish color. And then go to colorize and change it to electric. And then you can edit the way it looks by going in and changing the colors and I'm just gonna make this so it doesn't look so vibrant and I think that's looking pretty good for me okay so now we have to animate our rays. So I'm just going to swirl down this little arrow thingy to see where my two keyframes are. And then I'm, I'm going to select my rays layer, then click M for mask. Make a keyframe for the mask path. 
and then go approximately where your lens flare faded out and drag all of your points into the center of the lens flare and this might take a long time depending on how complicated you made your mask but it'll pay off and yeah I'm gonna fast forward through this point And so, now I'm done with my mask animation, and if we go from the beginning... And we ram preview this, which will probably take a little while because we use trap code shine, and that's a fairly complicated plugin. Now let's play this through. I'm going to turn the audio off. And so there we've got a nice little teleport effect. But there's still one last thing that I'd like to do with this footage. And I see people on YouTube, they do really good effects. They obviously dedicate a lot of their time to it. But they forget one obvious thing they need to adjust the surrounding environment to show that that effect is actually there so go into layer new adjustment layer and for this adjustment layer make a just a quick mask around the area that you think would be corrected well color corrected by the glow of the teleport. And doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's looking pretty good. So now go into your effects and preset panel and type in hue and saturation. And there's our human saturation. Drag that to the adjustment layer. And let's scroll down a little and check the box that says colorize. So let's change the hue to sort of a bluish. Like that. Let's bump up the saturation and the lightness. Until we get something we're happy with. Now I'm going to set the transfer mode to add, then click M. Make a keyframe for the mask path, and then select the mask, and click F. And then let's feather this mask out. And you know what, I might have saturated this a little too much. way too much. There. That's good. Well, I think it's good. Okay, so there's still one last thing that we have to do with this because this just stays there throughout the entire footage. So, what we need to do is animate it. Click M for mask path. 
and then go to the approximate keyframe where everything starts shrinking. And that's about the right spot, I think. And drag all of your mass points. into the center of your footage or wherever your teleportation originated and you'll obviously put more time into it because you'll probably be working for a client but this is just a tutorial and I'm not going to overemphasize something that it isn't. Okay, so we go from the beginning, sort of fades in, and I'm liking that effect. Alright, so let's turn on the rays and our lens flare. So if we go back to the beginning, you can see some of the rays, not very easily, but they'll become more visible. this computer. And yeah, so just play around with some of these settings like where the lens flare is. until you get an effect that you are pleased with. And so, this teleportation effect isn't perfect because I sort of rushed through it, but you guys get the idea. Alright, well, Thanks for watching guys, and please don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe.